Today, we are going to look at one of the events that happened during Passion Week. The event is known as the Last Supper, which happened during the Passover meal on that final Thursday evening on the night before Jesus would be scourged and crucified on Good Friday. Now the Bible records it in this way. It says that on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when the Passover lamb must be killed, Jesus had sent out two of his disciples, Peter and John. And Jesus told them, go and prepare the Passover meal for all of us so that we may eat. So they did as Jesus said, and they said, where do you want us to prepare the meal? Jesus told them, I want you to go into the city and a man will meet you there. He'll be carrying a pitcher of water and I want you to follow him into the house that he'll take you to. Then you shall say to the master of the house, the teacher Jesus says to you, where is the guest room where we may eat the Passover meal with my disciples? Then the master of the house will show you guys a large room and it will be fully furnished and prepared. And that room is where I want both of you to prepare the meal and have it ready for us. So Peter and John, they did what Jesus said and they went out to the city and they found the man with a pitcher of water and the man led him to the house. And they met the master of the house and he showed him just as it was. So they stayed in the room and they prepared the Passover meal for Jesus and the disciples. Now when evening time had come, Jesus and the disciples went into that house into the upper room and they all sat down to celebrate the feast. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I have desired to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And as they were all eating, Jesus took the bread, he blessed it and broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then Jesus took a cup of wine and when he had given thanks and blessed it, he gave it to them and said, take and drink. And they all drank from it. And likewise, Jesus also took the cup after the supper and he said, this cup is a new covenant of my blood, which is shed for many. I say to you, I will no longer drink the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. Wow, this is an amazing portion of scripture. The original Passover feast consisted of a lamb, unleavened bread, and a dish of uh, bitter herbs. The lamb reminded the Jews of the blood that was applied to the doorpost in Egypt to keep the angel of death from slaying their firstborn. The unleavened bread that had no yeast or leaven to give it the opportunity to rise reminded them of their quickness to leave Egypt. And the bitter herbs spoke of their suffering as Pharaoh's slaves. And this was Jesus' last Passover. And on that day, he would fulfill the Passover by dying on the cross as the spotted lamb of God. What Jesus accomplished by his death on the cross was to fulfill the old covenant and establish the new. The old covenant was atoned with the blood of animal sacrifices, but the new was atoned by the Lamb of God, which is the blood of Jesus. And in the new covenant, Jesus' blood would do what the old covenant sacrifices could not do. And that is to take away the sins of the world and cleanse the hearts of the believers once and for all. We are saved from our sins, not by participating in a religious ceremony, but instead by trusting Jesus as our Lord and Savior and participating in a relationship with Him. Our Lord's command was, do this in remembrance of me. The word remembrance means more than in memory of. For you can do something in memory of a dead person, but yet Jesus is alive. And this word carries the idea of a present participation of a past event. And because Jesus is alive, as we celebrate the Lord's Supper, by faith we will have communion with Him. And so Lord, I pray that each of us would partake of the bread and cup in remembrance of what you did for us on the cross as your body was broken and your blood was poured out for us. We thank you that while we were still sinners, you died for us. So Lord, we love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.